there is an invader in your own neighborhood, a master of disguise. It can deceive you into thinking local trails and green spaces are healthy, lush, and thriving. But it holds dark secrets. Slowly, it crawls through our communities, stealing sunshine and choking out everything it passes. This invader is destroying natural processes that support the necessities of life for humans and wildlife. Pressure on local habitats is building and will continue to build until we stand up against this bully. Rapidly spreading this alien wipes out entire ecosystems, securing its future in place of keystone species like the mighty oak tree. An entire oak woodland dies by suffocation and lack of food. But this invader doesn't stop there. It forces its way into our lawns and gardens. Lush backyard habitats shrink each year and your yard work doubles thanks to this killer pest. It's time to put this stealthy killer on your most wanted list. I'm referring to common or European buckthorn, Rhamnus cathartica. In the case of this exotic, invasive species, we simply cannot let nature take its course. The spread of invasive species is a major factor contributing to ecosystem change and instability throughout our nation. They displace and eliminate native species, alter wildfire patterns, damage infrastructure, and threaten human livelihoods. Invasive species are changing our beloved and iconic landscapes. European buckthorn was first brought to North America in the 1800s. The bright green leaves that emerge early in spring and persist into winter made it a desirable ornamental plant for hedges. By the mid-1900s, the species became naturalized and quickly spread across the Midwestern and Northeastern United States and the maritime provinces of Canada. European buckthorn is widespread across the northern half of Illinois. In a recent study, the Chicago Region Trees Initiative investigated urban forests contained on private lands across the region. Buckthorn was the most commonly encountered tree species. In Lake County, European buckthorn now accounts for 42% of our tree landscape, the highest percentage in the region, with Cook County in second at 32%. These figures include not only publicly owned natural areas, but those owned by businesses and homeowners. In less than 100 years, this invader went from zero plants to a dominating 42% of our urban tree canopy, and that figure grows every season. But a tree is a tree, right? No, green is good, right? Not always. Shouldn't we let nature take its course? No. These are conversations I have with members of our community every day. As a public relations and communications professional with the Lake County Forest Preserve District, I speak with residents all over our region. To those unfamiliar with invasive species, green is good. Many residents stand before a dark, dense thicket of buckthorn and feel a sense of peace or privacy. Not I. I know the truth about this invader. My passion for the natural world started at a very young age, from cold autumn mornings scouting deer trails with my father, to staring at toads my mother discovered in her gardens. I was hooked. It wasn't until I studied wildlife management at Purdue University that I learned to see a damaging force present in most natural areas around the world, invasive species. My favorite places to explore and unwind were in trouble and had been for a long time, unbeknownst to me. I had walked past pockets of invasive shrubs on those frosty mornings with my father, although I didn't know it. Let nature take its course? Rarely an option for land managers working tirelessly to preserve local ecosystems. Numerous damaging ecological impacts have brought buckthorn to the top of the most wanted list for natural resource managers. 
Removal of buckthorn and other woody invasives is a key conservation goal across the Chicago area and most Midwestern states. Having an affinity for disturbed areas, buckthorn has invaded upland prairies, canopy openings, oak woodlands, roadsides, ravines, fence rows, forest edges, river banks, floodplain forests, and cultural landscapes alike. <laughs> you know, pretty much anywhere there's soil. European buckthorn is widespread across the northern half of Illinois and dominates the understory in many natural areas. Another species, glossy buckthorn, also occurs in Illinois. Equally as invasive, Frangula ulnus, uh, it plagues wetter natural areas. You know, those soils typically too wet for European buckthorn establishment. This is nature's current course without our intervention. Dense infestations of buckthorn and not much else. Let's quickly cover why that's a terrible future. Buckthorn produces and retains its leaves earlier and longer. This robs ground layer vegetation of sunlight and reduces native plant diversity and abundance. Buckthorn reproduces rapidly and far earlier than most native trees and shrubs. Buckthorn has very little nutritional value for wildlife, and its berries have a diuretic effect on birds, which aids its proliferation across the landscape. Buckthorn produces emodin, a chemical compound that protects buckthorn plants and fruits from pathogens, but deters native wildlife from eating it. This chemical compound also inhibits the growth of nearby plants and microorganisms. Buckthorn has higher nitrogen levels than all other non-nitrogen-fixing native trees, which causes leaf litter to decompose more rapidly, which changes pH and nitrogen levels in the soil, which leads to bare soil conditions, which weakens existing plants by exposing root systems and increases susceptibility to erosion, and causes a rapid increase in soil arthropod colonization, which then consume food resources too rapidly, which can cause a total collapse in soil arthropod communities. Arthropod communities form the base of food webs that support many bird and mammal species. Buckthorn infestations are exacerbated by herbivores targeting the remaining native plants, further reducing native plant cover and diversity. Once native food plants are reduced, animal populations decline as well. A vicious, unsustainable cycle. In the Chicago region, 70% of all trees are on private lands. When it comes to buckthorn removal, the difference across property lines is often stark. To effectively control buckthorn and other invasives throughout Lake County, removal must go beyond the borders of public natural areas. That's why my agency and regional partners have launched a program to eradicate buckthorn in collaboration with local and regional stakeholders. We are enlisting help from homeowners and landscapers to battle buckthorn and create a more healthy, diverse urban landscape. A partnership surrounding Middle Fork Savannah Forest Preserve in Lake Forest is working toward the eradication of buckthorn within a 2,900-acre area. Though the focus of this pilot project is buckthorn removal, this initiative educates the public on the negative impact all invasive species have on our communities and inspires change in behaviors and practices. Working together, we can regain control of our neighborhoods and conserve nature across boundaries invisible to wildlife. Forests, prairies, wetlands, bodies of water, and other natural ecosystems support human existence. The abilities of these natural systems to capture carbon, recharge groundwater, maintain water quality, and protect areas against flooding rely on healthy ecosystems. It can be heartbreaking and overwhelming to look around at the impact humans have on our natural world. To truly fix the major issues we're facing today, 
It will require international, legislative, and in your own backyard changes. It's the last part of that to-do list where I feel in control. I have a backyard. I can make a difference. If I get my neighbors excited, together we'll have a bigger impact. The movement has already begun, and now you're all a part of it. Connected with local activists and community volunteer groups, agencies such as mine can put legs to campaigns that would otherwise stay hyper-local. Successful eradication across public, private, and corporate lands would go a long way toward fixing these major issues. So, let's correct the course. Spread the word about the damaging effects of buckthorn on our landscape. Scan your backyards, communities, and neighborhoods for this vile invader. Fall is a great time to plan for winter removal efforts. Remember that jump start and late finish buckthorn gets? Its bright green leaves stand out this time of year amongst native plants that have already lost their leaves or changed color. This winter, bundle up. Bring your family and friends out to the nearest patch of buckthorn. You won't have to travel far. Get some fresh air and exercise. Build a buckthorn bonfire. They're great fun. Get the next generation excited about tackling this backyard solution. Together, we can make a difference. If we all started tomorrow and prompted neighbors to do the same, we could fix this issue in a few short years. We can correct the course. Imagine a Lake County landscape in the near future where you can't tell when a forest preserve ends and a backyard begins. Picture a tiny warbler exhausted by its flight from North American wintering grounds, it searches for suitable habitat to raise its babies. Now it searches fast, because the bird doesn't notice boundaries at all. In early May, it makes its summer home in your backyard. You can open your kitchen window, hear its ethereal, cascading song at dawn and dusk. In early June, if you sit quietly, you can spy Mama and her brood moving in long hops through soft clumps of native grasses at the edge of your garden. Imagine, as a community, we have conserved nature at a landscape scale. We have improved ecological functions and the diversity of native plant and animal life throughout Lake County. We, together, have eradicated buckthorn from Chicago backyards and kudzu from the southeastern states. We have removed zebra mussels from the Great Lakes and Asian carp from American river systems. The story of our successes has been shared globally, inspiring communities elsewhere to rise up against the invasive species plaguing their nations. A nationwide backyard effort of this magnitude would go a long way toward a resilient environmental future. Nature's current course is not sustainable. Together, we can make a difference. Little actions mean a lot, and they compound. Let's get that 42% back down to zero, shall we? <laughs>